Today on Garantham. Oh, are we going? Oh, sorry. sorry all right. Did you That's it. We're not. No, stop. We're not restarting. What? That's what you get, dude. <laughs> 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 okay. Ready? Yep. Today, Today on Garantham, we are in the oh, kingdom of Rohan. We have our Gondorian Ranger here, and we're going to be talking Who about. Who was Gondor in the West Wolf? <laughs> we're going to be talking about what does it sound like to get shot at by a 50 cal, but to put some perspective on that. We're going to be getting shot at by many different rounds at right. many different ranges so that you, the viewer, can understand what that is going to sound so like. So you don't have to. Get shot. Exactly. exactly. So you don't have to. Yeah. Now, there's a question of safety. Safety. Between us and the shooter, we have approximately 400 yards of dirt. That's many million cubic feet of dirt. To be able well, to shoot through that. How much is that Minecraft? How many blocks? That's at least 10,000 blocks. Wow. To be able to shoot through it would take uh, probably about 15 generations and billions of rounds, and then it would rain and just fill back in. So we are completely safe and we are completely protected where we are. Now, there are many different reasons why you should know what it sounds like to be shot at. A couple of those reasons, of course, is for your LARPing needs and many other things, but it's good to be able to get used to that noise to understand what it sounds like in a nice controlled environment such as this YouTube video right here. So without further ado, what does it sound like to get shot at by 50 cal? But before biggest we get into sponsor. that, sponsor. Sponsors. sponsors. The biggest sponsor of the channel is the Snoring Desert, the Snoring Desert, Desert Snoring. Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. We can't thank them enough. Of course we can't thank Primary ons enough for all of their what, Micah? The best optics north of them there mountains. Primary arms! A big thank you to them, and of course you can't thank enough for the ammunition. America's ammunition company. Produced proudly in the US of A. Big thank you to them. Ladies, onward research. Onward research. We had the onward research recce rig. If you're looking to uh, LARP super hard, it can fit tons of magazines, eight magazines. You have the scent pouch. You can fit candy, towels. What's that towel for? Don't, ask, don't worry about it. All right, you can unty post. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, my have forgotten, but most certainly not by me, Jimmy Changas. Welcome to the channel. Let's get into it. Now, we're going to start off at about 230 yards with three different weapons. The weapon is going to be a Glock 17 firing 124 grain NATO 9mm ammunition. After that, we will be firing the 4570 from Henry. That is a giant round, if I, and you want to show that. And then we'll be showing the M203 with a 40 millimeter. The chalk round does make the exact same sound that an HEDP round would make, which is a high explosive dual purpose round. We'll be firing many rounds from each of these in order to hear what they sound like as we are in deflated. The rounds will be going overhead. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, today we're going uh, down to the berm with Charlie. Charlie, what do you think about uh, getting some rounds overhead? Uh, I think it's going to be great. It's way too f***ing cold. What's your experience with this, Charlie? Oh, my experience. Uh, I served a lot of time, not necessarily in the in the military. I have received discounts. Okay, proxy. we're going to get this started. By proxy, I am a JTAC. Bravo one, Alpha one. Alpha one, Bravo one. We are set up and we are in defilade. Fire. All right, Glock 17. We'll go five rounds. Rounds complete. Perfect. Uh, why don't you go ahead and depress elevation, give us another five. Roger, depressing elevation. Firing. Rats complete. We are uh, that Winchester. Is terrifying. Loading dude. another mag. Coffee, y'all. We are in Desolade. Depending on the height of the rounds over the berm, you're obviously going to get different noises. Nine millimeter at this range is going subsonic, which is why we could hear the buzzing a little bit more. When we move to like the 4570, you're 100% going to hear that crack as it goes overhead. Oh, it's always a good time on Grantham. Okay, next up we have uh, 4570. We are in defilade. So, the, I mean, where 45 70 comes into play in Middle Earth is when you're dealing with orcs, okay? Now, orcs I'm not worried about. I know easily I could smoke an orc with a 556. Five, now, you don't want to take down an Urukai with a 556. Five, They're a little bit bigger, a little bit more uh, aggressive. I'd probably rather have that 45 70 for that Urukai, is what I'm trying to say. Urukai, pretty nasty creatures, right? 
So you want to really have your options dialed in when you're dealing with Orkai. Trust me, I know I'm a Gondorian Ranger myself. All right, guys. All right, they're in death lab, ready to go. There you go. <laughs> Coffee. Dude, I can't tell where that's coming from. Those rounds, as they're going overhead, uh, are creating that supersonic crack, and that's kind of unidirectional. So, especially when you're being shot at from a suppressor, which we'll hear very soon, uh, it's very hard to directionalize precisely where those shots are coming from. Pretty fun. Yeah, with that 4570, I know exactly what it's like to cross on the wrong part of the border. You're stepping <laughs> on the wrong ranch and... 40 mic mic! Yep. <laughs> 40 mic mic! Where's my dot? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Perfect. I want you to adjust right, uh, bring down elevation. Copy. Right, down. Fire. Ooh. Adjust lower, your windage is good. <laughs> adjust lower. Cold. Uh, so 40 millimeter, uh, it's such a slow round. It sounds so crazy. You can hear that thing just cutting the wind. Yeah, it's fun without the explosion at the end, but can you imagine it? It sounds cute and then it hits you. Next thing you know, you're just hanging out with Jesus trying to explain why you were hiding behind a berm with your AK above your head. Uh, so we just finished uh, with our low pressure rounds. Charlie, how did it, how was it? It was nice. It was a typical Saturday night in any Tacoma. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be using some higher velocity rounds at this point. We're gonna be at 500, then we're gonna do them at 1,000. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what weapons we're using, and uh, we're really excited to show you guys uh, what it sounds like from the comfort of your own home. It's cold out here. It is cold. I hope you're warm. Yeah. Hey, oh, actually. <laughs> my God, what was that like, dude? It's cold out here. <laughs> I knew where you were shooting from, so I was trying my absolute best to be like, like just yeah. sonar it. No. Yeah. 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 I, that in, I was like, oh, dude, this guy's not calling his his. Yeah, it's my bad. Yeah, it's Honestly, my bad. hey, it's a game of integrity. Yeah. Um, and I failed. Okay, so we're gonna be going at 450 yards with several different weapons. After 450, we'll be going way further, probably about 700 to 1,000. So the first weapon that we're gonna start with is going to be the 4570. So the 4570 will be roughly subsonic by that point, and it's gonna be very interesting. Thank you. Next up, we're gonna be having the 556 CAC SR15. Now we're gonna be firing this both suppressed and unsuppressed. This is a 14.5, uh, 5.56 is a very interesting round when it goes overhead. After that, we'll be having the 7.62 by 3.9 AK-103. Um, same round fired by the AKM slash AK-47. So this is gonna be very interesting. Uh, it also has a very distinctive noise. Next up, we of course have the venerable M1 Grand. Um. The great thing about the M1 Garand, uh, just to throw a little tidbit out there, Mike, is it forced the Japanese to go from a warring nation to a nation of anime. So let's not let's not do that. Finally, we have the 50 cal from Halo. Um, this is an anti-material rifle used against the Covenant. This is a Sire HS50 M1. Very awesome. Of course, running the Churchill Gun ACOG, because according to Lucas, that is the best optic, optic and we, uh, we agree? LPVOs suck. Yeah. We're not saying that. Thank you. <laughs> Why'd you do it? I wanted your channel. Why? I want your channel. We're about 500 right here. And the 4570 should be uh, subsonic. Let's go. We are ready for five rounds of 4570. We are in death lane. We're good. We're good. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Round complete. 
<laughs> Coffee. Easier than Halloween, dude. That was like right over us. Good times. No, so, I don't think it was. <laughs> no, it was no, not at all. So, it sounded like it. That's what's so interesting about incoming fire. So at that point, we do have a subsonic round. That tells us a lot. We can hear the low pressure report from the 4570, and you could hear that about where we are right here, it was subsonic. That tells us a lot about the caliber that we're getting shot at by. To be clear, the 4570s are big old 300 plus grain pills flying through the air. They're the Lizzo's of the caliber world. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready for unsuppressed 556. Copy, you're grabbing unsuppressed 556. We are in defilade. What the? Wait a minute. Okay. I hear the crack. And Copy, then the gunshot. By. Okay, so again, we can learn a lot. This round, as you can tell, was supersonic, and we heard the report after the crack. That lets us know a lot about the type of gun that we're being shot at by. We know it's some type of higher velocity round. Uh, for those of you who have been shot at, uh, you know that this is either a 545 by 39 or a 556 in this case. Very interesting, and that was unsuppressed. That was wild. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw the suppressor on, hear what that sounds like. That Mike and the boys can have two extra rounds as a snack. Round complete. Copy, thank you, stand by. Awesome. So as you can see there, uh, the report was much less. Uh, again, that's gonna be very hard to directionalize. These guys are just out in the open. If they are in some type of cover and concealment firing, that would make it even more difficult to pinpoint where those shots are coming from. We are ready for a 7.62 by 39. We gotta up the odds. Fire. So a much different round, sound. Please. Thank you, stand by. And the reason is that the round from the 7.62 by 39 is much heavier than the 556. That is a 123 grain slug. It's louder. Yep, it's louder. louder. Yeah. The supersonic crack is louder. Now to be clear, the 7.62 by 39 is much slower. When we get out to like 700, that bitch will start being subsonic. It's very interesting. Which Ready with M1 grand. We are in defilade. What was that? Why was that so scary? <laughs> Copy, thank you. 308 is a hell of a round. Yeah, I can't even imagine being told, hey, we're gonna charge those guys with these fucking swords. Let's go. Dude, that actually <laughs> made me like- It made me move. You moved. It was, we all did, we all went like this instinctively. I scooted over, I was like, get Mike. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna go ahead and try a 50 cal. This Confirm. is your new Steyr HS1. We are in defilade. Fire 50. Can you imagine dudes during World War II, just like with that ear pro firing off rounds of like the 50 cal? That, that shit's gnarly, dude. Come on, dear papa. She angry. <laughs> Give us three more. Dude, that report. <laughs> You know, you know when you're getting shot up by that, you're like, <sighs> you hear that boom back there? Yeah. That's something else. Copy on your rounds complete, standby. Yeah, so you can tell that, that that 50 has a louder crack, but really the supersonic crack isn't a whole lot different. It's gonna be interesting as we step out. Now the 50 carries supersonic for quite a while. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step back even further to about a thousand and hear all those same rounds over again. Copy, in death blade, captain 4570, yeah. fire. Yeah, it's not making it. There it is. Please. You so, heard it? Five more.
I heard two. That's a slow. Copy. Thank you. Get set up on the 556 unsuppressed M16. I'm the problem. It's me. I don't know, I don't know the rest of any Taylor Swift songs, but I do love Taylor Swift. I figured we'd up the ammo allotment for some of these different calibers. The five is a little bit too boring for, you know, a five, five, six. Like we gotta, let's give it to him, you know? Shake it off, shake it off. I stay out too late. We are in defilade. Fire. <gasps> uh, five, five, six has still got it. And what's crazy about it once again is it's such a small round that you can just, you can just, they, they're so tiny and they, they have such a distinctive noise. 5.56 five, really is a wild caliber, man, when you think about it. It is with the suppress. Thank you. Uh, so that was a 14.5. Uh, you could see that it still had uh, quite a bit of ass. 14.5 uh, to 20. Obviously, the 20 is going to have the most velocity, but those 5.56 five, rounds, they, uh, they make a different noise, that's for sure. Get prepped for 7.62 by 39. Rounds complete. Were those tumbling? <laughs> uh, they're they're certainly getting unstable at this position. Yeah. And what do you think, Charlie? That um, I have a unique job. M1 Grand. M1 Grand. M1 Grand. We are in defilade. Still supersonic. That is still pure hate. Yeah. Copy. Thank you. We are prepped and ready for 50 cal. Firing 50 cal. So Grantham recently bought this huge, beautiful ranch. I love the idea of like this hardworking family that was scraping by to earn and meat. And now it's like taken over by all these meme gun, gun meme shit lords. I love the internet. Oh geez. I hope I don't turn into Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. Yeah, if I'm gonna be a, uh, be completely honest with you guys. I'm happy to be the one doing the shooting. Uh, I've done this test before on my own channel, and I will say it's not as extravagant as this one because he has a literal Grand Ram Ranch. But uh, you know, I tried it and it was fun. But being shot at's not like uh, you know, it's it can wake you up, but it's not the most fun. You know what's really fun though? Is having a good time with friends. That's the most fun. Maybe the real, maybe the real ballistic test is with the friends we made along the way. Range cold, range cold, range cold. Yeah, you uh. Range cold. Cool. You are having a full discussion with Mountain Jew Jesus before you hear the shot. So, Mike, as a shooter, I didn't get to hear the rounds cracking overhead. Why don't you go ahead and tell your own audience what it sounded like? Of course, a lot of interesting notes to take. Obviously, uh, depending on the speed of the round, you'd hear the supersonic crack. Otherwise, you'd hear a lot of the whiz of the round cutting through the air. Yeah. Uh, you can also tell a lot about the speed, the size of the projectile based on the report. A lot of good things to take away from this. A lot of things you can learn about the shooters taking shots at you based on the distance they are from you. These are all important things to know yeah. for LARPing, now, of course. So with you being on that receiving end, do you now feel like you have a more uh, personal connection with JFK? <laughs> so guys, thank you for joining us for this video. We hope you got a lot of really good information, you had a good time, and more importantly, you learned something and you had fun. fun. Maybe the real fun. test of the rounds flying overhead was the friends we made along the way. But gentlemen, ladies, make sure that you get out there and you get Training. Training. Training is what's going to matter. You don't have to have your buddies take pot shots over your head out of berms, but you, what you should be doing is practicing with your rifles, practicing small unit tactics, and getting good with that type of stuff. Where can we get training? Uh, anywhere. Cogworks. Pat McManera. Pat McManera. Close enough. Onward research, of Onward course. Onward research. Very soon. So guys, get out there. Get training. As usual, we have nothing else for you guys. 
Final thing for you guys, dad advice from dad administrative advice. results. Hey gentlemen, uh, when you're watching this, it's November, which means no nut November, so you should be quitting porn, okay? Hey, I get it, any of your sexual flavor and desires are out there, but don't do it, it's bad for your neural synapses. It's actually true, it has been proven to be bad. Scientific Turn speaking. to Christ and repent. God wills it. <laughs> and then after that, just turn to my stupid face. <laughs>